Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. I've been getting this question since the CSI NET June exam is conducted, which is actually conducted in July. And uh, there were news is regarding, you know, the paper leak and all these things. But beyond all that, if you want me to discuss about the paper pattern, discuss about the, the quality of the questions asked from part A, part B and part C and the analysis of the exam, then this video is just for you. Because here, based on the poll that I have conducted in my channel, also my students who attended this exam, how this exam has gone to be, right? How was the exam for June? Let me write it here for June 2024. I will not call it July exam because uh, let's make it very simple June exam and December exam. So I will not say that it's a July uh, or any kind, but June exam, June 2024 exam. So how was the exam? Was it easy? Was it difficult? We need to see that. We will understand that here. Okay. So there are two shifts. Let me write it shift one and then there is shift two. There are two shifts out there. Now in, in, in with respect to part A, we have part B and we have part C. For all these different parts, what are the quality of the question that we received, the type of question that we received, that's what I'm going to review. I'm not going to show any query here because, you know, right now, most of you always right after the exam try to search for the answer key provided by coaching institutes. But this is my humble request to all of you that do you really need an answer key from a coaching institute? Because the answer key of a coaching institute is going to do nothing for you. It's only for a satisfaction of your temporary excitement about the exam. But still, as you are asking for this, I talk to my students and the feedback, based on the feedback that I receive, because I personally did not attend the exam, right? So based on the feedback that I receive, I can tell you one thing is that what I felt is that part C this year is a moderate to difficult. It was moderate to difficult. In uh, shift 2, as well as in uh, shift 1, it is moderate to difficult. In both this case, moderate to difficult. Now, the difficulty level, what we found out is that is more here for the shift 2 than a shift 1. What people said based on, you know, uh, sampling uh, all my audiences, most of my audiences who reported and my students. But it is moderate to difficult compared to the previous year's question. Most of the students reported the part C is little difficult this time. What they felt. And the questions are lengthy what they felt. And the problem with the lengthier question in NTA based uh, CBT mode exam is that you need to scroll the part C question a, uh, a lot. And it consumes a lot of time. So the problem student faced in the part C is that as the questions are moderate to difficult they are lengthy. So it took more time for them to solve it. So they don't get much of a time to solve part A or part B. So between three units, most of the students struggle to finish all the three parts this time. They either go part C, part B and they generally most of the time snub now part Now if we talk about part A, shift one candidates say it is difficult. Shift two said it is moderate, too easy. Shift one said it's difficult. So comparatively, you know, obviously, it depends on your practice and preparation. So, it's a very subjective thing whether a part, complete part is easy to you or difficult to you. But what I got is that between shift 1 and shift 2, shift 2 part A is little easier than shift 1. Okay. So, part A is little easier uh, here and uh, easier. This is easier. C was more difficult here. And in this case, it is more difficult. That's regarding part A. But I can tell you is that based on the category of question that were there in part A, those who prepared them well can answer 8 to 10 question quite easily. Part C, if you have a good preparation, you can answer 22 to 25 questions, no matter whether it's moderate to difficult. But the problem is that it consumed a lot of time because it is lengthy. Okay, uh, takes time, takes time to solve. 
And regarding part B, this time what I felt, uh, what I got as a feedback, part B also. Now regarding part B between shift one and shift two, people at shift one said it's easy. People at shift two it says it's moderate, not difficult but moderate. So this is what we got here. For shift one, it, they said it's easy. The part B easy. For shift two, part B moderate. And again, depends on how you prepared. Because those candidates who can remember more things, more information, because part B are mostly direct questions, will get better advantage of answering them. Yeah. But our concern always is part C. Because our target is always to score 100 out of 100 in part C. And if that's the target, then this time you can achieve that because whether it's moderate to difficult, still can answer 22 to 25 questions because the question number is huge, 75 questions are out there. A little lengthy, maybe the part C will consume 2 hours, 15 minutes, 2 hours, 20 minutes of your time. But you can still answer 20 to 25 questions. Considering that fact, if you move to part B which is in shift 1 easy, so can answer some more. For shift 2 it might be difficult, but in that case shift 2 the part A was easy and shift 1 uh, part A was little difficult. So they switch it. So part B was moderate here in shift 2, but part A was easy. In shift 1 part B was easy and part A was little uh, difficult. So based on that, tie with the 100 marks from part C, you can still get a score of uh, 118, 116 and that's what I feel. Uh, should be the ideal cut off this time 116 to uh, 118 somewhere between this not 120 not 120 marks but near 116 to 118 for JRF in general category that's what I felt JRF in general category but the question is if uh, this paper leak scandal is a real and if the coaching institutes are paying that to do so in that case the cut off might be higher because if people know what to answer how to answer at the moment there are some people out there uh, different coaching cent uh, centers implant people in the different uh, exam centers and uh, throughout let's say 8 10 if that happened you know in 10 20 different exam centers across the across the uh, country in that case there will be 200 uh, 200 250 students they can easily score more than 160 170 in that case the cutoff will be higher so there are two scenarios now if the exams seem to be genuine then the cutoff should belong to 116 to 118 that is a maximum cutoff for general category JRF candidates but if the cutoff is more than 62 um, uh, like 62 percent that is 122 uh, something like 122 above if the cutoff is 122 above out of 200 then you can assume that there is a foul play in there. I don't know whether they will do it or not, whether they manage it cleverly in that set or not, but that is the reality. Because in that case, those 250 people would have scored much higher, so the cutoff would get high. But that is the overall idea that I felt this exam, June 2024 CSI Net Life Science exam has to help for us. And Because if you qualify based on the cutoff, based on the, the answer ki declared by a coaching institute, can you make sure that you qualify? Would you throw parties for that? No. The answer is no. Because right after this exam, there are several steps. One, the CSR will release the question paper. The CSR will release the answer key. The CSR answer key is even not final that is probational, then they will release a final answer key after challenging the question. After the final answer key, if you add the numbers based on the questions, if you have in your mind, then you get to know how many marks of question you have answered. Still, you don't have a clue whether you qualified or not. Then CSR will release your scorecard. Even at this fourth stage, of this examination when CSI released the scorecard do you know that you are going to qualify not 100% but to some extent you will realize whether you can qualify or not let's say if somebody gets a score near about 130 
that person can make sure that yeah, he or she will qualify. But if you are scoring 100, 108, 110, you cannot comment on your qualification. So until or unless CSIR releases that list of roll number of candidates, you will never know whether you qualify or not. So this is a pseudo reality that the coaching institutes create in order to drive student to their new batch of the coaching admission which I never want to share. Even if you check my videos earlier and if you have been to my channel for the last 7, 8, 9 years you will realize that I never did any kind of you know analysis kind of videos after the exam because I think it's, these are meaningless. But these days if I don't make these videos then people think that I don't provide any coaching. But in the bigger sense, this channel is not for CSI net. This is for biology lovers. This is for biology as a general. Anything that comes under the umbrella of biology will be discussed in this channel. But yeah, obviously coaching, CSI net coaching is a channel through which we make some extra money. But that does not mean we disrupt it entirely. It's not possible. It's not a news that we are going to bring someone and, and ask about the exam analysis. People are there who are thinking of memory based questions and they try to solve this question later on. You don't need that. Because ultimately the decision will be provided by CSR net at the end when they release the list of roll numbers. Before that everything is ambiguous for us and that is my opinion on this exam. But if beyond all this idea whether the paper leak scam and all this you know if you decide to make a career in research and staying in india then csi net is really a big option and if that is the option you're looking for then it is always better to start the preparation without looking at all this no without hearing all these noises outside so just focus on your preparation whether you're preparing self or if you need any help from a coaching, then we are there and other institutes are there. You can choose your own. Uh, but never try to just think of education as a commodity. Don't, don't just think that somebody is offering for 500 rupees and somebody is offering for 5000 rupees. They are going to be the same. They never are the same. The reason they have a pricing power is because what they offer. Right. So choose wisely if you want to join a coaching institute and if you want to practice your own that this channel is also there. Uh, with more than number of videos that anyone could ever uploaded here in any biology channel worldwide right so you are there all the very best see you in the next video thank you bye